because these are adapters that allow you to use Leica M mount lenses on your Canon RF mount cameras. So that may be, like for example, a Canon ESR or for example, a Red Komodo 6K. And there's a fairly big discrepancy in price between the various brands. The original one I had was one by a company called Seven Artisans, I believe is the name of the company. And that particular mount was a little loose. There was some play as you would rotate it around like this. You could see some play in the adapter. And I didn't like that. It was only 37 bucks. But that said, it felt like 37 bucks because the tolerances for the machining clearly weren't as good as what I was hoping for. Now, I guess the gold standard would have to be Canon's own mount. And as you can see, I have one here. This is just the, that has a control ring on it. And if I were to snap this into place and click it in, it's a pretty secure mount. There's really no play in this mount. When you buy an adapter, you don't want play. Really what you want is a tight seal. You want it to feel like it's an integral part of the camera. So we can clearly see Canon accomplishes that as they should with this mount adapter. This one has, you can see here, there is a gasket on the, on the lens adapter, which I think is a good idea if you want to maintain any kind of weather sealing, provided your lens supports it. So this one obviously has that. Now, these two brands, like I said, the Seven Artisan wasn't great. It was cheap, but not great, and it felt cheap. I mean, it felt well made. It was just, the tolerances just weren't great, which is why I got rid of it. And I immediately rushed out and said, well, who makes the best? And this company, Novaflex, came up as the winner for the best of these type adapters. Novaflex came up as, as the premier company to go with. So I picked this thing up and these, these are fairly simple pieces. There's really not a lot to them. And I hope this is coming out on video adequately, but essentially you just get a very simple, in this case, all aluminum build machined adapter. And if you notice in here, there is some sort of um, texturing. It's like these fine lines, which I believe is done to cut down on any, any light bouncing around in this, so there'll be no reflection going on inside the mount once it's mounted to your camera. Now notice with this one, when I mount it up to the Canon, this is uh, EOS R again. When I mount it onto the Canon EOS R, I get a fairly tight and secure fit. Looks quite handsome. There's really no play to speak of in this adapter. That's great. And that's what you want. The story was a little less compelling when I mounted it, excuse me, onto the red Komodo. I'm gonna take this off of this little tripod. So I mount it onto the red Komodo. I do have, can you hear that? There is a little bit of play. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of play, but there is a little play. Getting into the meta bones, I want to show you this adapter because I think it's pretty interesting. And it's interesting in a couple of things. I think it might offer a really good value for money at only $89. So you get traditional meta bone packaging, which is not bad actually. You get a box, you get, you get a nice case. It's a sizable case. And you get your adapter, and size-wise, the Meta Bones is a little bit, as you can see, um, it has a, a um, wider diameter, and maybe slightly thinner. I hope that's coming out because my my um, light is giving problems. Slightly thinner. So when I put this onto the native mount. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've put this onto the native mount. Let's give it a try. There is zero play, as one would hope. Zero play, absolutely zero play on this. Now, I want to show you some points on this. Remember I said that a gasket, you ideally want a gasket, because the native, the native one, the Canon one has that gasket, it's right here. If you look on the Metabones, there is a gasket. 
which is great. So if you have a lens that supports weather sealing, this should maintain that weather sealing with it. The other thing is, whereas in here, they chose to just have this, um, it's, it's basically just small lines and it's painted with a fairly matte kind of gray paint, it looks to be. With the metal bones, they actually have this flacking material to absolutely kill any chance of reflection. There's another issue I want to bring up when it relates to build, whereas the Novaflex is entirely aluminum, Metabones instead went with an aluminum build, but these parts that connect to the actual lens, these are actually made out of brass, and they are chrome brass. So they've been chromed, but they're actually brass fittings, which I think to me, that sounds way more premium than just aluminum build. Now, consequently, this is slightly lighter to my, as I feel this here, this has a little more weight to it, but it also feels very quality, very, very high quality. If I didn't have, if it didn't, wasn't for these names on here and I didn't know better, and someone were to tell me, guess which one is the $230, $300 adapter, I would say this, because this feels way more like the Seven Artisans, and this feels way more like what I would have thought the Novaflex would feel like before actually using the Novaflex. Now, second point, we're going to try this out on the Komodo, because that's what I bought it for, was the red Komodo. So... I'm going to line this up and rotate it into place. And as you can see on the Komodo, again, zero flex, zero flex on this, zero flex. This fits like it does on the Canon. It fits as well, maybe a little better than the Canon's own adapter. This becomes an integral part of the camera. So, you can go out there and you can get the Novaflex and you'll have a fairly well-made adapter and it's, it's expensive, that's what it is. It's German-made, it's expensive. Or you can go out there, save some money and get the Metabones and have an excellent, excellent adapter with zero play weather sealed with the with the gasket like it's supposed to be and on top of that with brass fittings and pay almost one third the price well for me it's a fairly easy call this one is going back this one is staying if you enjoyed this content, feel free to go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you next time.